Another major insect pest of coffee is a stem borer. The stem borer, or the Silotrechus quadripes, is a species of beetle known as a devastating insect as it is difficult to control once inside the stem. Stem borer life cycle. Number one. The adult stem borer insect carves out an exit hole in the coffee stem and flies to mate. The stem borer lay eggs on the bottom of another coffee tree. The eggs grow into larvae. It eats around the stem and cuts the sap supply by eating the cambium layer. The tree can survive by repairing the cambium, but by then, the larvae has eaten to the center of the stem and starts eating its way either upwards or downwards in the plant. The damage made by the larvae interrupts the coffee plant's sap flow, resulting in the plant becoming severely wilted and its eventual death. Difference of Red and White Stem Borers The red stem borer typically attacks the center stem, and the white stem borer typically attacks the smaller branches rather than the center system which makes it appear less destructive, but it requires the same pest management and control methods as well. If your coffee plant has been affected by the red stem borer, cut the affected plant 0.305 meters or 1 foot above ground to check the level of damage that the larvae has done to the plant. If the larvae have eaten upwards from the bottom of the cut area, burn the cut wood. If the larvae has eaten downwards lower than the cut area, pull the roots and burn as well. If the white stem borer is present on the branches, prune those specific branches while carefully expecting other adjacent branches for signs of stem borer damage. Sawdust-like shavings can be observed on the ground near infected plants. Stem Borer Control Methods Number 1. Stem Borer Trap A stem borer trap was developed in India. Use a container or box smeared with glue with a bottle of stem borer attractant or pheromones. Make sure to reapply glue regularly and refill the bottle especially during the flight period of the insect. Number 2. Stem Borer Chemical Control Focus on the stem where the insects are hatching after egg laying. Apply a granular systemic insecticide that provides some control. However, it needs to be combined with other measures. Trim the lower leaves of the coffee plant and coat with a thick calcium-based mixture containing insecticide to seal cracks and crevices where the adult likes to lay eggs.